Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 2 of Hey I Camp. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. So many Mount Fuji. <laughs> In a really weird way, it kind of looks like a snow cone. Like if you just get a pile of ice. And just, mm. What's up? Oh. Mount Fuji rice or curry? Curry. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Kirby. Oh my god. <laughs> eh, it's okay. Hmm? And let me guess, the clouds are gonna spread and you're gonna be able to see Mount Fuji. <laughs> hmm. Maybe you're looking the wrong way. Turn around. That was fucking adorable. Oh my god. But I like the fact that, you know, learning a little bit more about Mount Fuji and then talking about all these other problems as Kirby's eating her curry. That was so cute. Like, oh my god. The only mountains that I really knew of Mount Everest, Mount Kilimanjaro, uh, Fuji. I think that's it. Yeah, those are the only three I knew. So I got to learn more for today, which is interesting because I know Kilimanjaro is in Africa because my father is from Af Africa. Um, so, yeah. But it was an interesting episode. I do like the fact is, especially with the one where it changed colors, dead ass, that looked like a fucking snow cone. It makes me kind of want a snow cone or just something sweet. I'm craving it. But... I mean, seriously, when you go to something, because it, it seemed like more a little bit of a museum slash cafe or really just like an art exhibit all for the love of Mount Fuji, because you have all these things around. Plus, you have a cafe that deals with Mount Fuji. You're getting Mount Fuji type of food. You're getting curry. You're getting chicken. You're getting whatever um, Owie ate, because I don't really know. It, they didn't really show what she ate. And they just really showed what what's her face show, which um ate which was which chicken, and I get that, but it would have been nice to see like what everybody ate in a way because if it's curry chicken and then it could have been like I don't know um also chicken again, but like maybe something a different type of chicken because you had lava chicken and then what else could you have maybe like a light breaded one instead of a dark breaded one maybe, but it was interesting. I mean. This episode wasn't that bad. I'm glad that Kirby was able to stamp her first stamp on her own because 
Yeah, and they even show it right there. It's sweet, and I like that. They're going to show every single one. It's very interesting about that. And it makes it very memorable for her because she was the one who did it on her own and stamped it on her own. So I feel like each girl is going to have a turn to possibly stamp a stamp for every single episode because it seems like there is... Okay, not counting the... Well, I'm going to count it anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six. 12. 12 stamp souls, not counting that one, but it's 11. So there's going to be about 12 episodes. So each girl is going to get a total of like um, four times to do it. So maybe the first row will be nothing but Kirby. Um, the next row will be um, Witch Race with the Glasses. And the last row will be nothing but Aoi. Because each girl should kind of really get a chance. Because it's not just about... Overall, it is about Kirby and her journey up to finding you know, each of these stamps and learning more about her town, this new town that she's moved in, which in a way she got to learn a little bit of it during the show. But this is more of a, I don't want to like, cause I think I said this last week, I don't want to call it a filler per se. I'll use what quote <laughs> quotation marks in a way. Um, because it seems a little bit of filler, but it's still, in my opinion, very canon to the main story because the fact is, Rin isn't here, and um, What's Your Face with the Dog isn't here. So, like I said last week, I'm still kind of hoping, opting that those two, plus the dog, because I really just want to see the dog again before season two starts, uh, whenever that happens, whether it's later on this year or in 2021. Um, I just want to see the puppy, because I love dogs. Y'all know I love the crap out of dogs. I had Before I had Cody, I had two dogs before they passed away. And everyone, like from my channel from 2016 to now knows that I love the crap out of dogs. I love it. I love animals in general, but dogs are my forte. Love them so much. If I could, like when I live alone, eventually I'm probably going to have like a whole bunch of people, like a whole bunch of dogs in my house. <laughs> and like, you're my company, <laughs> but still have friends. But yeah, it was a really sweet, interesting episode. I love the way, um, it taught me about different mountains and stuff because, like I said, I only knew of three because my, I think one of my teachers didn't really teach us every single mountain. I think around, like, between um, elementary school and middle school and such. So, I mean, I'm glad that you get to learn about it. So, and that makes me excited to see what the hell they're going to go against next week. Each episode is going to be, like, um, a learning experience. I can, if I can compare it to one other show that I'm currently watching now that also comes out on Mondays that I just found out, um... Sets it on Academy. If Sets it on Academy is the new Kimono Friends or, yeah, Kimono Friends of 2020, this is essentially part two of Laid Back Camp with the more of the learning aspect of it. I do love it when certain animes give a learning aspect at the end of the series, whether it's every single episode or it's by the end of the show, like to learn how to camp because to do anything. Um, sometimes it's about independence, it's like that. Any life lesson that someone can get from watching an anime is just a good thing in my book. But yeah, other than that, guys, that is my reaction view to this episode two of Hey A Camp. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode three. Bye, guys. <laughs>